Tip number one, hit space to play. This is a lot easier than moving your mouse cursor up to the play button and hit play and stop there. Tip number two, hit enter to go back to the beginning of the song. Or should I sub? Bang, 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 bang. Tip number three, zoom faster by holding the option button and using the scroll function on your mouse or two fingers on the trackpad, like so. Scroll sideways for horizontal zoom and scroll up and down for vertical zoom, like so. And of course, this is a lot easier than using your mouse and going up to the right hand corner and zooming there using the sliders with your mouse. It's, it's a lot easier using the option button and zooming in and out. Tip number four, the pointer tool and the marquee tool, like this. Pointer tool, marquee tool. So whenever you hold in the command, you get this plus sign up and this is really handy. You can just hold down command and then click and drag. And then you get a gray area marked and then you click inside the gray area and there will be a cut on both sides. Really practical whenever you want to take something away from a region like so. And afterwards, you can do adjustments to the remaining regions. Tip number five, command Z to undo. This is a lot less tedious than going up to the edit menu and selecting undo and redo. Which brings us to tip number six, command shift Z to redo. So command Z, undo, command shift Z, redo. Tip number seven, download the Subphotic Logic Pro X templates for mixing. The link is in the description or go to subphotic.com slash logic and get them there. Tip number eight, press the C key to loop. Tip number nine, press A for automation. Tip number 10, use the marquee tool in the same way as I demonstrated earlier. Mark the region, click and start tweaking the automation lane, like so. Tip number 11, for fast automation, select touch, hit play and start tweaking in a plugin, like so. Touch. And as you can see here, I now have a new automation lane, like so, this is for a frequency band and this is a lot easier than going to the pro Q and try to figure out all these functions right here this is quite overwhelming so just go into the plugin while touch is enabled on the track and start tweaking whatever you want to tweak and a short little bonus tip for this one is to tweak only one setting at a time so that you have overview of what is going on. Tip number 12, hit the X key to go into mixer view. Tip 13, to select tracks, hit command A, then you select all the tracks or just grab one track with your mouse, just hover your pointer on one of the tracks, left click your mouse and drag and drop. And then you can drop and then you can hold down command button and you can select more tracks. And then you can adjust the volume on all the tracks together. This really comes in handy many times. Tip 14, make a folder of similar tracks. For example, here I've made a folder out of all the drum sounds. Now let me show you how to do it. You select all the tracks that you want in a folder, right click, like so. Create track stack, folder stack, and you're good to go. Call it buses and enter. There you go. If you regret, you can right click on the folder and you can select flatten stack. then it will go back to normal. Or you can hit Command Z to undo and Command Shift Z to redo. Tip number 15, hold Option and press C to select color. 
Here you can color the regions, whichever color you like. You can also select several regions and give them a specific color, like so. Tip number 16, if you want cohesiveness and orderliness in your mix, select all the tracks, right click on them and select name regions by tracks. Boom, a lot cleaner. Tip number 17, hit the B key to access the quick controls. I must admit that I don't use this that often, but it comes really in handy if you want to do some quick tweaks on a track. And then just hit the B key again to remove it. Just like on the X key when you get the mixer up. Tip number 18, hit the M key to mute all the regions in a selected track like this. And tip number 19, hit the S key to solo all the regions in the selected track. Tip number 20, hit the G key to open the global tracks. And what I usually use here is the arrangement tool. So I just hit the plus sign on the arrangement. And then I can arrange the song as I want. Chorus, for example, here. And it's really neat to just see how it's all arranged. And you can right click here, remove whatever you don't want. So here now I only have the, the, the arrangement and I, I like to have it like this. Then I can uh, make, for example, verse and so on and so forth to easier see what's going on where in the song. Tip number 21, hit command D on a selected track to duplicate it with the same settings. And tip number 22, if you want to duplicate the region as well, just hold down the option button, click and drag the region to where you want it, such as this. And related to that is tip number 23, hit command R to duplicate the regions across the timeline. For instance, say that this is a loop that I have. I hit Command A to select everything. And then I hit Command R to duplicate like this. That way you can duplicate all across the timeline and then make variations. Tip number 24, hit the T key to open the pointer menu. And from here you can hit any other key to get the corresponding pointer tool. The pointer tool that I often find myself using is the one that I get when I press A, which is the fade tool. For easy fade movements. And then press T twice to get back to the pointer tool. Tip number 25, to activate or bypass several plugins at a time, click and hold the on off button on the plugin on the channel strip and drag down. Same applies if you select all the tracks or many of the tracks. Let's see. Tip number 26, and this relates back to the folders that I talked about earlier. Select a couple of tracks, right click and create track stack and then choose summing stack, create. And here you get a new bus. So this is a way to bus tracks together. Here I have a bus of these two. And then I can give it a name and I can also add processing to this bus. Tip number 27, create a bus by selecting tracks, click on the output and route it into a vacant bus. There we have the bus. And tip number 28, select that new bus, right click on it and click create track. That way you have the aux here in the session view for easy tweaking and automation and what have you. 
And as you can see on this one, this is from one of my templates that you can download. The link is in the description or subphotic.com slash logic. Here I already have made tracks out of all the buses, the mix bus, the master bus, the drum bus, and so on. It's already done for you. Tip 29, option click any parameter to make them default. option click but just a word of warning for some strange reason logic won't let you undo fader movements i don't know why so just be mindful of that if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this and tip number 30 press the z button to zoom in and out quickly like so tip 31 to make a send effect click on sense select a new bus Add processing to the bus and then right click on the bus and select create track. There you have it. Now again, you can use this track for automation and whatever. And not to mention quick and easy access in the session view. And actually another advantage here is that you can select the order in which the track appears in the mixer. So as you can see here, I can put it way on the side here or I could put it wherever I like here you see I can't do this in the mixer view it's impossible I can't drag it here tip number 32 hit R to record just make sure that the track you're recording on is record enabled and that you have selected a correct input source yeah and that's it and if you want more videos of logic pro check out one of these two videos right here thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you in one of those videos peace